Okay, we have. We have here after that very interesting <laughs> set between Mars and Me Beef, or Me Beef took that first game. We got Ned and uh, Gopa Kempi. Yes, Ned, uh, you know, one of the uh, Panda Global rankings. Yes. Members here from Chicago. Very, very good cloud. Got to win on zero. Set up zero. And he has er, good Yeah, set on zero, excuse me. He has good practice against Mario with Dan being one of the best Marios in the yes. Midwest. Uh, though Goma kind of came up onto the scene uh, in West Michigan and just, just like showed up and was just real good right off the get-go. So with his unique play style, he might like trip up Ned a little bit, but Ned uses Cloud Sword as just like a huge range box that kind of throws out moves left right, and right. Exactly. Uh, Ned is all about using that buffed cloud. He doesn't like to use limit except for to secure kills or recover. Right. Exactly. So just kind of utilizing it in the Mewtwo, uh, Mewtwo King-esque way. Just going to get here. I'm trying to do the short hop fairs. Maybe the fastball kind of messing him up there a little bit. But now Goma in the air. Going to get sniped out by that back air. Great stuff to Ned taking that first one. Yeah, he stuck under that, underneath that fireball. Just grabbed that back air and was able to close it. Quite quickly, up till trying to send him more in the air. Goma not panicking though, just landing and jabbing the low one special, <laughs> if you will. See Ned using these uppers, but he spaces this up so well. Yeah, so well. With and that up smash is not going to take it out. Down throw. Oh, oh my gosh! Just taking a more damage, jabbing it out. <laughs> the fireball. Well, Force and limit out, which is not bad. No, that's actually a really smart option. Goma likes to, it seems like he likes to control part of the stage and then uh, have, ne have Ned like jump into the air while he retreats and tries to get a read. Absolutely, I agree with that. Yeah, he's, he's a very stage control Ooh. and almost camp heavy Mario. Oh. At times, yeah, he, he actually mixes it up quite a bit. He's in the roll, trying to get the up smash, forward throw. Goma just having such a hard time getting the stock off. Is that, gonna, Is that gonna be he, it? I, don't, I think he got. Oh, wow. he's actually gonna snap there! Oh my goodness! Yeah, I thought even though he had no double jump, it seemed like he didn't snap on the ledge because he had he was still in the cloud up beat. Uh, seeing if Goma can like, maybe salvage the stock here. That was basically been the story of game one. Here is Goma just not able to find it, throwing out up smashes, putting himself in bad spots. Now he has a now Ned has a huge lead. So this has happened. I've seen this happen Hello? to Goma several oh. times before, where he just can't find his can't find his closer. Yeah, wait, what? Both both these players right now struggling for a tilt. Four so two? close. Yeah, so very close. How much like up throw might kill here for Mario? Four tilt. Oh, yep, better. four tilt's gonna take it out. Max rage cloud. Nothing to scoff at. Mm -mm. Took a while to find that KO. Dude, don't you love this crowd right now? Look at them. Yeah, there's so many spectators. And there's, there's like lot. setups sitting unused. That's interesting. That's very rare. We need to get the out of state players showing up, man. That's very, that's Pop all up. too true. And Ned going right? Oh boy. Ned's got a smile on his face. I'm excited for this. I am too. It just, game one, I, <laughs> Goma had decent control and his combo game was pretty nice. Then he just wasn't able to close it out like we were mentioning before. So if, we, if uh, Goma, if Ned has a little bit more openings from his Roy, Goma might actually be okay here. We'll have to see though. This matchup can be obnoxious for Roy because he's going to get stuck in this for a while. Yeah, he's going to have a hard, hard time landing as well, but just kind of backing up using the neutral and creating space between him and his opponent. I didn't know Ned had a Roy secondary. I didn't know either. I know he uses a lot of sword characters. He used Zero Suit prior, and I think he was talking about using sword characters uh, prior to that. Good use of down tilt right there. I like that. He's getting some good pokes and lots of patience coming out from Ned. Yeah, great poking tool. And then neutral there, great combo starter, trying to get the grabs. And then of course the early KOs with the Roy box. He's doing he's doing a great job with his Roy movement, and that's what all Roy is basically, because you gotta you gotta work your way in. Oh. Great combo from Goma. Yeah, standard. Pretty pretty standard combo there with the <laughs> double up air and LP. But it always looks nice, right? Connecting all the as many hits as you can. Right, exactly. He's, he's not doing anything like revolutionary, but it's effective. Right, and then before until coming off from that. And now that was a sweet spot, sweet spot for a tilt. Remember, keep in mind Roy's sweet spot being at the hilt of his sword. Mars being at the tip. Get that not here. getting that sweet spot bear. No, not at all. You can see the fire come out. In that up air, it will take a very long time to kill. Yeah. Even yeah. at the, the sweetest of the spots, it's going to take oh. a long time. I, I, I wanted Goma right there to go for a grab instead of the up smash, trying to make and sure a net unshielded, but dying right there. Just going to throw him away right there, get that nice up throw. Woo! Smart DI from Ned, knowing this matchup. 
It's like, see, I'm, I'm dying away. Not, di not dying, I'm dying. Yeah, DI. Ned's really looking pretty clean. Oh! Yeah, get that forward air out. His spacing again, like it kind of translates well from his cloud. And that spark hit there, too. Oh. Ooh, try to go back again with these up smash. Has he landed one? I don't think he has. I mean, I know he landed the one off the up tilt string, but that doesn't really count. Right. Right, yeah, that was at the start. Goma looking Back maybe down. a little desperate for this KO. He's gonna try to get the flood on there. Roy's, Roy's snap is pretty good. I'm curious if Goma knows that Roy only in the air, his up B only has the one frame of intangibility. It does not get the super armor like it does on the ground. Interesting. So that means he can kind of go out there and try to punish him. Yeah, he I think he could. I think he could now. maybe clash out with like you want to avoid the hitbox obviously because it is disjointed. Right. But if you can like kind of get behind him, you can do very nasty things. Yeah, to you him. can get a back air stage fight. It'd be real nice for him. But even now, like pretty much anything will start killing. Back air and trying to get the upper and not actually getting the killer. Looking for the grab, not able to. But uh, not finding a grab of his own, finding the second hit of that neutral air. Goma finds himself on ledge, literally just rolling back to the stage backer. Finally, and there we go. we're out. gonna find a backer. Goma is at least gonna take a stock. Jamming it out. But the crazy thing is, this is Mario. He Whoa. could get all of this, all of this damage back in just a couple combos. That he can, but Ned with the DI making it so uh, he can't exactly do that uh, as easily as he'd want to. Ned looking from the very end. sharp here, and great Trump back air. Not quite gonna steal it out. I'm kind of surprised that was a nice sweet spot back air after the ledge Trump. Fireball? Uh-oh, grab. No platforms though to ride up on, trying to send him off stage. Down throw again. He's bringing this back so it's getting respectable. I'm interested to see what he's going to have here. Forward smash actually for Mario would kill. Sweet spot, like anywhere. Down throw. Bad DI, but it will survive. Like I said, that up air, even when it's sweet spotted, it's fairly weak. It is. We'll see this F smash coming out. Ned knows now. And that forward air gonna force him way off stage, getting close to finding that KO. Back air, oh, but the up tilt. Oh, the up tilt's gonna, gonna stuff it out. Oh, he did hit and the up I think up that was an up tilt, trade. yeah, it's traded right there. And we should have Constable Lemon on now. Yep, it looks like he's ready to roll. Absolutely. You guys are gonna love this. Constable Lemon, West Michigan Lemon.